this is a section of the Millennium Trail, they call it. It runs between um, McLeod Road near Walmart and up to Lundy's Lane. Um, right near the Falls Manor restaurant, I guess, would be the best I could describe it right now. Actually, it's right at uh, Royal Manor Drive, I believe, which is where the old Dairy Queen used to be. And the um, Days Inn is there now, I believe it is. Uh, I've been on this trail once before, a couple of years ago now. But as you can see, it's really quite nice. It's uh, nice and tree shaded here in this section. Thank goodness it's starting to get warm out here today. hint of a breeze. Over to my right here you'll see, see a fence and that's fencing off what's referred to as the hydro canals. These are canals that have been bent, built throughout the city to allow water to flow from the uh, Welland River and local folks call it Chippewa Creek. Uh, it runs all the way to the reservoir um, at the Serrata Mac Generating Station. It's just one of the several sources of water that they have running uh, to that reservoir to help create electricity. This is what I've been missing, buddy. So, one of the best uh, ideas I've had, or best purchases I've ever made. Of course, then we have the odd asshole, oh, excuse me, the odd uh, idiot that likes to throw their garbage anywhere, and there's a Tim Horton coffee to prove it. <coughs> People walking their dogs. And riding bicycles. Okay. Here we get some uh, industrial uh, areas over here and it's off of Montrose Road. This modern crane is back here somewhere. surgery done in February and unfortunately because of COVID-19 it was cancelled and uh, <clears throat> I had a call from the doctor the other day at their office and uh, they've given me the great news that it's going to be delayed again for about another year and a half because it's elective surgery and uh, it's not considered urgent or emergency surgery so screwed for another year and a half with my knees so I just went out yesterday or the other day and I bought myself uh, uh, an electric mobility scooter so I can get around and travel some of these uh, parkland areas that we have in the Niagara region I mean, they're just beautiful as you can see again people walking riding bicycles uh, uh, kids on little bicycles with their parents and this is just one of hundreds of kilometers of trails throughout the whole Niagara region that I could travel. Yeah. <laughs> Here's one little kid pushing a stroller up here. Her mom, her mom walking beside her. <laughs> mom, you're supposed to push the kid. <laughs> No, hopefully this will allow me. I mean, I can drive anywhere I want. Okay, that's not a problem. I can go and drive anywhere I want. But the thing is, I want to get out on trails like this and just enjoy the nature and the fresh air and 
I don't want to drive somewhere and then just sit there. I want to get out and do some exploring. Of course, always taking pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I could blow my horn, but I don't think he'd hear. Listen to this. Oh, that's my direction signal. There it is. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you have a good day. You as well. But anyway, this is uh, again Millennium Trail runs between McLeod Road near uh, Walmart and up to Luddy's Lane. Actually, you can you can continue on this if you make a right-hand turn before you get to Luddy's Lane and go underneath the uh, the, the bridge. And I, I might do that just for a short distance because I've never been down there. But I think that takes you all the way down to Thorold Stone Road, if I'm not mistaken. And then from there, I'm not sure where it goes. You know, I'll bet you it hooks up with the, uh, um, the Niagara Parkway Trail. I don't know what they call it there, the Niagara Parks Commission Recreation Trail, something like that. So, I don't know. Anyway, regardless, it's... Uh, there's some nice trees up there. Look at those trees, aren't they gorgeous? Morning. That was good. enjoying a little picnic there along the side. You know, this is just great. Just great. <clears throat> now this video is going to wind up being quite long, I can see, and there's not too many people that are going to be interested in watching it, I'm sure, and quite frankly, I really don't care because I'm doing it for myself. this off for now and then I'll catch up a little bit later just as we get towards where I want to go. Alright, I'm just about to at Lundy's Lane right now. But I'm going to take a cut off to the right. Now this is uh, a section of wooded lands off of Montrose Road. down for residential areas and what have you, but it wouldn't surprise me one damn bit if one of these days it is, for sure, encroaching on the whole area. This would be a bloody shame if they did that. It really would. My God. They should make that into a really nice park area. Ugh. Development. After a while, you get to hate it. You really do. I've seen so much in the last 66 years I've lived in Niagara Falls. This drives me crazy sometimes when I see things being destroyed. Anyway, if I turn left, that would take me right to Lundy's Lane. In fact, you might be able to see the, I think that used to be the old Ramada Hotel. It might still be, I can't remember. But uh, regardless, uh, this is going to take me underneath Lundy's Lane, over uh, the, uh, where the, well, not the Welland Canal, where the Hydro Canal is. So, let's see where it goes. Imagine it's still fenced off, so I'm not going to be able to get too close to it anyway. But before they put this fence up, you could get right to the, to the edge and look down and see the canal. You can actually see the canal from up, up on top. And actually, I might show you a picture of it or take a little video of it when I'm going there. Okay, so this is straight underneath. So the canal is just down here. Let's see. Nope. <laughs> Here's the warning. No trespassing access beyond, access beyond this point may result in drowning. And yeah, that's very true. Once you get in that canal, there ain't no way out. They had a few rescues down through there with the fire department. They managed to save the odd idiot that fell down there. Ooh, that looks far down. Ooh, definitely far down. 
I'd love to know where this section goes, but I've got some stuff here for beer that's going to melt if I don't get home soon. Mm, you know what? This might be an afternoon trip for me. Yeah. Where does this come out? Where does this come out? Yeah, you know what? I think what I'll do is I'll come back here later on and find out exactly where this comes out at. And then, in the meantime, I gotta get this stuff home for Vera. That's the overpass for, for Lundy's Lane. Let's go back here. Oh, look at a little couple of chipmunks. Look at a little chipmunk. Oh. <laughs> Almost got you. I think what I'll do is I'll think I'll put this up on YouTube and just put a link to it on my Facebook page rather than trying to put this up on uh, on Facebook. Put the two of them together and make one longer video. Travel along here, and then you know it feels like you're just out in the country somewhere, away from everything and everybody, except for the odd person, which is all right. But then, as soon as you turn here, just another couple hundred yards up the road, uh, right back into civilization again. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, So that's, that's the Days Inn over here. That's the Days Inn I mentioned earlier. There used to be a Dairy Queen right here in this vacant piece of property. Oh boy. As you can see, the traffic on the road up here is definitely uh, on these lane, as it were. Welcome to Lundy's Lane, Niagara Falls.